Okay, here's the world famous Predator carburetor, which needs the world famous Predator gasket because these things have a tendency to shake loose if you don't have the gasket covering the screws. We use three pounds of pressure on these Predators, even though they got a big old giant fuel bowl. The you know, things will run a long, you know, long ways on one pump. Okay, let me tell you about the Predator. We get calls almost daily about, do you have them with the idle circuit? We're going to show you that all Predators have an idle circuit. We'll show you this one here idling at about 800. I could probably crank it down to about 5 or 6 if I wanted to, but I don't want to right today. What they're confused with is they made some carburetors, Predator did, that had an idle circuit, which was to be used in California. If you're going to have air conditioning in your car, and they added a little couple drips of gas to your car to the to the uh, engine at idle. If you're idling for a long period of time, it would have a tendency to lean out and die. But all the carburetors that we build, usually if they come with that, we block that circuit right off. Use them with a straight regular idling circuit. That way, it's good for racing or street. This one here is ready to go, and you just watch how how low it will idle. There's about, uh, looks like 650, looks to me like somewhere between 6 and 700. But let me show you something. Here's the only two adjustments. This is a mixture's rich, rich for down, lean for up, and your idle speed right there. That's the only two adjustments. How you want to adjust it is so it takes the gas real smooth. As far as, as far as mounting one of these things on the engine, boy, that's running pretty. We can just have a little bit of a, a little slight richness. It don't take much in this thing to get it to move. See there? Okay, let me shut it off and talk to you. As far as mounting this, you see this bolt pattern? It will go the bolt to the right, to the rear, to the left, and to the front. That's all got to do with what you want to do with it. For driving around town or whatever you want to do with it, other than drag racing, if it goes way up in the air, you want the bowl in the front. If you're going to go round, around, around a circle, you put the bowl to the outside of where you're going to have it going, left or right. That's up to you. But for normal operations, we mount them just like that. As you can see, you can have your gas pedal coming out from your car right here. And right to that, there is no, don't need any bell crank. You don't need any special linkage. You don't need anything. They'll go right on there. So this is your Predator 390 CFM when it's idling. When that baby trumps open, it'll go up to 930. And so you better wear be strong neck brace on your neck because it'll really give you a ride. They tell us if you don't have one of these things on your mud bog or, or puller truck, you are not going to win. Everybody that we talk to that wants to win, they put these on the mud bog because this carburetor will run in a lot of highly inclined positions. As a matter of fact, <coughs> when I go to take the gas out of it, I will have to pull the needle out of it to let the gas come out because it will not come out by just tipping it upside down.